facility layout usually it is we have you optimize the layout of a system layout could be anything like from machines uh, desk offices toilets kitchen lockers uh, storage room raw material so literally how you place them one next to the other in order to minimize what's known as non adjacent flows okay in order to minimize it as much as possible i will give you like a really brief example like if you in a house you always place a kitchen next to the living room because it's like you access it lots of time during the day but no one would place a kitchen next to the bedroom even if sometimes you need it at night but no one would place a kitchen next to the bedroom uh, again okay so this is the concept of it so if two uh, departments or two offices they must be placed adjacent one next to the other okay so you must take this into consideration so let's see this example here uh, so we have five departments uh, stock cutting sheet metal machining painting and assembly and we have the transmission between the five departments per month okay so from to so we have the five departments from here to there what does that mean like from department one to department two is 100 times from department three to department one is 60 times and from one to three is 50 times so the total number of a charting or movement between department 1 and 3 is 50 plus 60 110 and this is the layout we have 1 2 3 4 5 as current layout so the first things to do is just to count all the trips we're gonna do so I'm gonna repeat between department 1 and department 3 from 1 to 3 or 3 to 1 is 110 so it's 50 plus 60 110 so we're gonna count the non-adjacent flows for example one two three non-adjacent certain uh, place next to each other is 110 and three to four is non-adjacent so it's 40 in order to reshuffle this to relay out in order to reduce the non-adjacent flows so what do you consider as first what you have to do as first so the best way is to reduce the non-adjacent flows what you can take into consideration the 110 is extremely huge okay so what you can do because like we don't have one for you place a one here okay you place a one here so in this condition one three will be taken care of okay you still have only four three so you reduce it in a way okay so the suggested solution is to place five here and zero non adjusted even the the one they suggested is even better so you have to do lots of trial and error in order to reduce the non adjacent flows in a system